Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you that how you can put ads on the left hand side and right hand side of your blog post in WordPress website. So uh, currently on my screen you can see that on the left hand side I had some extra space so I put one ad over here and on the right hand side I have one more ad. So this is one of the best way which is actually uh, helping us to uh, increase our CPC of the Google AdSense ads. All right, so this is this was a little bit tricky. So I created some code. Then I thought that I should share with you because uh, uh, on the YouTube I could not able to get help from other people. So this was uh, this was important for me to share with you as well the same thing which I did. So you only need to copy and paste the code. Then you are done with that. All right. So this uh, concept is also called as uh, wide scrapper. All right. So let me show you how I did this. So I have already written a blog post uh, for this. So this is the blog post. So for example, I am going to refresh this page again. Uh, and I actually removed the code so that I implement this uh, with you. And you could uh, do the same thing in your website and then test. So I am going to refresh this page. And now those ads disappeared from left and right hand side. Now I will again put the code and show you how you can add the same thing. So here we have uh, some steps. So first of all, the question is how to add wide skyscraper ads, AdSense ad banner on left and right side, fill the extra space, right? Because on the left hand side and on the right hand side, you can see that we have extra space and it is good that we should put some ads on the left and right hand side so that uh, we could generate some income. So the first step is that open footer.php file. So for that you need to go to WordPress dashboard, then click on appearance, theme editor and footer.php. Footer so let's go to the dashboard. So once you are scroll scrolling it down, here we have appearance, then click on theme editor. Here we have two options. The first option is that if you have uh, created a child theme of your theme, then you need to copy and paste the footer.php from your main theme, parent theme over here. So if you don't have, if you have main theme, main theme means uh, you have the parent theme and if you are directly working in that, then we are, once you are scrolling it down, then you will be finding somewhere down here we have footer.php. So you should open this one or I am actually uh, going to open the child theme footer.php because both the uh, files are same. So let me click on footer.php and then you can see that I have some code here. So you should scroll it down and down below you will be having a body tag. So just above the body tag you need to uh, add these lines of code. So you only need to copy these lines from here and then after paste it over here. All right. So I pasted the code here as it is. Now I need to add the code of my ads. So you need to log into your AdSense account and from there you need to copy the code. I already copied over here. So I'm going to copy from uh, this file. So let me copy this and then paste it with the line which is add AdSense code here. All right, so I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to remove this text and I'm going to paste the script. Then again, down below on the right hand side, we also needed the same code. So I'm going to delete this and paste it over here. Now we are done. If, if I'm going to update these uh, changes, let's see. So file edited successfully. Now let's see the changes. I'm going to refresh this page again. And now the ads displaying on the left hand side and right hand side. So this is pretty easy for you. So if you are interested, you only need to uh, follow both these steps and you are done. So it is quite important for you that if you are interested to put the ads on the left hand side and right hand side, then it is uh, good that you should put in the way which I did. All right. So this is pretty simple. So uh, just a minute. Let me see one more change here yeah one more thing is that if you are interested to uh, show the ads to bigger screens on only and you want to hide those uh, uh, ads in the smaller screens so i have added some uh, media query here this one 
so for that i have added one uh, see uh, one class name so you need to copy this class name from here make sure this is this is add slot underscore sky skyscraper i am going to copy this and then paste it over here which is class adsense uh, google and here i already pasted because i already copied the code from here so here you can see that uh, once you are copying the code from your adsense account then it would look like this but now i am going to add the css uh, class name sorry now here you need to paste that class name which is add slot underscore skyscraper so in the same way we also need it here so i already added let me delete this so once you are copying the code from your adsense account then it would look like this so i am going to add the new class here which is add slot underscore skyscraper all right once you are done then if you are updating this file uh, if you are facing some issue then again you need to click uh, on update file sometime it creates problem so now file edited successfully and make sure that i edit 1580 pixel 1580 pixel i mean those screens which are having 1580 pixel are above there the ad would display otherwise if the screen size is less then it would not show so let me show you how it would it will it will work so i am going to refresh this page now you can see that ads are displaying for example i am clicking on inspect then i am going to click on this specific uh, responsive mode so here you can see that those ads are removed so for example i am increasing the size and and here we go now you can see that we have 1655 uh, screen size so ads are uh, ads are going uh, going to display if i am reducing this size and once it reach to 1580 it hides automatically can you see so you can set the height according to your requirement so if you want to uh, if, you, if you don't want to uh, hide these then you can remove that class i mean remove that uh, css or maybe you remove that class and it will not uh, break all right so this is one of the best way which i actually uh, created because sometimes uh, some people are thinking that this is scammy for smaller screens so in at that moment you should hide these ads for your users because so that it should not be more irritating and uh, it should not look like a scam scamming all right so this is pretty easy if you are interested to uh, do something more the uh, creative so you can also ask me the questions for that i will also try my best to uh, use my uh, coding skills and create something new for you so i uh, hope uh, you enjoyed this video if you are thinking this was useful then uh, if you are new on this channel please subscribe this channel and like this video as well and if you have any other question uh, or maybe you want that uh, i should uh, make any other kind of video for which you are struggling so i will definitely do my best to uh, create that video and publish so that you could get uh, help out of that all right so thank you so much once again see you in the next video